Salutations everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play The Darkest Dungeon. I'm your host, Brainboy20, and when we last left off, we had had a lot of fun in the courtyard proper. Mostly because I was an idiot and completely forgot to put trinkets on my team and basically had to fly by the seat of my pants, but flying by the seat of my pants still kind of worked because I got lucky enough to justify it. Now, uh, we have a small event with the chorus of We Are The Flame. Who here is good? Preferably someone who's good with back row fighting. You're better, so we're going to hire you into this mess. A sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. And our group is full. Can I embark on another journey into the court? I think I can embark on another journey into the courtyard. I think. I don't know how to check if I can or not, because I think I only have two invitations. I believe. Anyway. Um, do I want to? Yes. I want to actually get the courtyard underway. I'm also kind of waiting for the wild to roll a semi-decent roll. If that makes any sense. Or I could try one... Do I have enough toxic people to actually go with my plan? Fluffy. I've got no one here with chains. So I don't have any abominations. Bordekin has bleed. No, there's not enough. Even if I wanted to. Yeah, so let's put together a team out of the available people. Nod, welcome aboard. Um, Dury, what do you got? That sucks in an area that's full of bleed damage, so let's not take you. Hoville, that's fine. Oh no, you have quick reflexes, it's good enough. You don't have anything else I'd actually like to keep. Russell, come back, join us. I have no healing. That needs to be Barasa, welcome. We could definitely make use of you again. Unequip all trinkets. We'll make sure we actually have trinkets this time around. With everyone who's been selected, is there anyone here who doesn't have decent stuff? You don't. Get yourself to not sucky levels immediately. Uh, what is your skill set? Wicked hack. Do I want to change you to Iron Swan? No, you basically have everything else that I could be interested in. Wait, it has that high of a stun chance on the first two? That's just impressive, but no thanks. Um, if it bleeds is actually fine because it allows you to target the third row, which is generally where enemies end up being with my parties. And I think everyone else will be well equipped. So let's focus on trinkets. If not, we could just do a like medium party. So you take Crusader's orders just because stress is always problematic. And I don't think there's anyone else that gives you speed, but damage is definitely appreciated. I don't think there's anything here that would just give you straight damage. But this could actually fix your speed problem. You're still positive on stress, you're positive on virtue chance. Oh no, you don't resist as much bleed, that's not a problem. Burasa. 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 I... You know what, let's just do this, just because you're basically our stand-in healer. And Overture Box is fine as far as I'm concerned. Keeping you alive is... Of tantamount importance, unless... Is... The potential gains from the Prophet's eye, yes, the Prophet's eye is better, speed-wise. And if you can stay in the back row. Oh, no, 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 no. Wilbur's flag? There's no one here who has the ability to mark, and that's the problem. They only have blood suckers. there's no thirst here. I mean, maybe? Cruz Bell is not bad. I don't know if it's... I didn't check if it counts as low torch light. 
That's the problem. I didn't check to see if it counted as low torchlight or not. Do we have the Ancestor's Pistol still around? I thought we had acquired it successfully. Ancestor's Pistol? You see, okay. I should have honestly checked because I don't know if it qualifies. If it qualifies, I would gladly take the Hell's Hairpin. But I don't think it does. You know what? We're just going to go with a, you're good enough with your own damage, you'll be fine. We'll take the Malted Tail Feather because it gives you enough of a speed boost, and take Wilbur's Flag because that will fix your dodge. Just from not, just from being clumsy. And we'll just try to outspeed and snipe a few people, even though that's not really sim as simple as I'm making it sound. We might as well try. Can we provision? Okay. Okay, I'm not surprised. Fresh air in the tunnels. That'd be a good setup to try to take on the flesh, but that's not reasonable. It's also not very good. Bleed Amulet. Four deeds and some gold. Complete 100% of room battles. You know what? Let's unlock what's remaining in the wild. Nine food. Weird. It's short, but I'm still going to take extra food just because the healing is good. Take two bits of the blood. Two keys. We're going to need shovels no matter what. We always need an obscene amount of them. And then, hang on. Can I only take three medicinal herbs? Am I missing anything? Torches. I mean, I can also change up my party. No, I'm not going to change my party comp. You can't make me change the party comp. Good enough. Let's embark. Beast and corrupted human alike inhabit these failing groves. Now it's complete 100% of room battles. We might as well get ourselves some more invitations and head on down. Oh, wait, I didn't recover the others. No. Mm. There's always something I forget in the hamlet. Corruption has soaked the soil, sapping all good life from these groves. Let us burn out this evil. Well, I have to go back here anyway, so at least it ended up being usable. Or this ended up being useful to have the scouting chance here. Good, you didn't fail and flub it up like you usually do. Anyway, anything of interest that happens to my life? Grave digging is not the most healthy of professions. I'm not going to bother with grave digging just yet, mostly because I have to... I am guaranteed to have to use two shovels in this mess. Hallelujah, it's not three shovels. Otherwise, I think I'd cry. Can you center the map on the party again? But last night's livestream was actually pretty fun, just because I was able to do Cluster Truck and begin some of the Halloween-themed stuff. Because I completely forgot for the longest time, until just last night, for the matter, Nature herself that they had Halloween stuff the spreading on spreading corruption. Malformed with misintent. <laughs> Barely saved it. Now, I would like to Wicked Slice... Uh, you. Okay, smite you. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. I wanted to avoid what's going to happen right now, which is just going to be a ton of damage that's forced on her. But apparently I'm not permitted any of this. Barasa's not actually particularly good in this type of fighting. We can purge it later, can we just kill with some of these spitters so you don't take much, take many more hits. The only nice thing we got going for us is that most of our party will outspeed everyone that comes here. Back to the pit. Ah, uh, sure. I'll take the 27 overheal with the bleed. You know what? Can I stun you without killing you? Yes, excellent. I want to just purge both of these effects while getting you to heal yourself up just slightly. What can I say? That was actually handy. Another one falls. It's quite dead. Wait a minute. 
These you... nightmarish creatures Is can be Mark? felled. They can be beaten. I forget that Mark's targets. All right, let's just clear open this traveler's tent. Lots of free supplies, all of which are acceptable. Let's get a move on. Next battle, what? Oh, okay. It's an enchantress and a giant, but we surprise them. Is this party just surprisingly good in the Warren? In the um, wild? Yes, you're a wild tactician and an unholy hater. Most of you are human beast. Interesting. Okay, you're not particularly good here. You're not particularly good here. Yeah, we're just getting lucky, I guess. Um, does, does your stuff get buffed by marked? Yes, pistol shot gets buffed by marked. What we're gonna do? No dodge for you. I'm gonna rely on you to try to shoot this one dead. Of course, that was going to fail, but if it bleeds, you should be able to finish her off. Give them no quarter. And then we'll just try to take a cheap stun on the blighted giant. Excellent. Everything's going well. Everything will not be going so well in the near future, but we can consider the near future later. Eh, we'll drop his speed and hope. Or we'll drop his... What is better? Wicked Hack is still better. It crits so often that it's phenomenal. I mean, we could try to stun again, but it's just not gonna work. That did so little damage. If it, like, actually successfully poisoned, we could just heal through it. Anyway, what else is happening in the world? Prodigious of size alone does not dissuade the sharpened Honestly, blade. Honestly, not much. Just excited that I'm going to try to go to another job fair tomorrow. And never that's going to be... I'm going to be screwed out of it. Just by the reason why I'm recording this so late in the day anyway. Because I would love to have recorded this several hours earlier. But for some reason, my tiny, tiny brain cannot wake up at 9 in the morning anymore. And we'll always wake up at 11 o'clock sharp, each and every time. And I still don't quite fully understand it. Maybe my bi biological clock is just screwed to hell. Oh well. But we're not here for that. We're here to traverse the darkest of dungeons. Did I get more shovels? No, I didn't. So we'll avoid opening up the grave. Just because I'd rather not get another disease the light, that I have to the clear. The promise of safety. Eh, I'll be risky. Who knows? Pays off sometimes. Eh, it's money. Money is money. Money is money. Money is always money. Money is also money when you just surprisingly find paychecks that have just been at the bottom of stuff for no reason. So that's just a little nice thing that happened to me today. I haven't actually determined to see how much it is, and odds are it's probably worth absolutely nothing. But, uh, no. Oh, yes? May the spirits guide your hand? Okay, we can always clear poison from it. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Why do you crave the blood so much? I don't quite understand. Don't punish me for using the shovel. Excellent, you did not punish me for using the shovel. But it's starting to look like the room battle... The 100% of room battles is going to be at the very end. Sure, I guess I can shank that one. Obliterated. Well, begone thought. Or I should say begone nod indeed. I know nod's a player Foolish character, I just can't horrors. remember who. Brought low and driven into the mud. I can't remember who requested it all that time ago. Speaking of requests, since no one's actually posted their requests, this might as well be the first video that I actually get this over and done with. So, uh, No, we're not gonna do the announcement video just yet. I should remember to do that at the start of this, just because I'd like to be able to guarantee that people see it. Considering In radiance, these lovely donors have been giving me money from time to time, so I might as well let it be well known. Hi, can we outspeed you people? 
We can. Can I shoot one of you dead? Of course not. Well, we're going to shank you at least. I said we're going to shank you at least. So if you could kindly accept your demise, that'd be great. Oh, baby. Here comes the Crimson Curse. In all of its glory. Thank goodness that at least has to connect. If that didn't have to connect, I would cry. Because if it just gave the Crimson Curse either way. You know what? Wow. That... That is... That's... That's... That's actually really, really dumb. Can I tracking shot off of you? Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Excellent, and here comes the thirst. Yep. I had a feeling the Crimson Curse would hit us hard, hit us fast. Why can't we just get rid of the Crimson Curse? I never know. And here comes the Crimson Curse again. Look who called it. I need to get Sanguine Vinters. I am not a big fan of the Crimson Curse being unremovable. Them all. Unlike virtually everything else in the game, it's almost entirely impossible to get rid of. And that I just don't like. Which means we're gonna have blood problems soon. I'm actually just going to let him, As the him falls, starve a faint hoof for blossoms. now, unless we can get lucky. No, no, it's probably gonna crimson curse him. The formation as well. is broken. Maintain the offensive. Hmm. I'd like to get something. Okay, we have a lot of food. I'm just eating food now so I don't have to feel bad about getting rid of some of it. Oh, we're actually in default party order. Surprising. Right, so we've got one more room battle with treasure. I'm probably going to go for all out on treasure. If one's... Oh, okay, no. We're, we're guaranteed another fight. Recenter. What's waiting for us? Oh no. Hunger. I'm trying to remember because I think medicinal herbs. Of course not. Holy water. Fine. Diseased by the remains. Oh no. Just a little bit of blight. What is it that's supposed to fix that one? I just don't remember. Shanky McShankerston. Welcome to Shanktown, USA. Sorry, that's Gary, Indiana. Um, I want to pull one of you back. And so I'm going to pull one of you forward. Because that'll force you into a stumbling scratch. And we'll try to kill the fungal battery before it gets to be able to act. I guess the only real nice thing about the Crimson Curse is the drop in resistances... The drops in resistances are generally balanced by the fact that you have a ton of speed. Well, at least the Cultist Gladiator is gonna die. That's the hope, at least. Stumbling Scratch will force you into a Stumbling Scratch, which will... You know what? Let's stun you. Just so you don't get to do your escape cloud shenanigans. Yeah, so as long as it's set up this way, they're just going to keep escape clouding and basically be perma-stunned. However, I would very much like to get rid of the fungal battery. That'll kill you. That's good enough. Devastating blow. Alright, well, the Fungal Grabber is going to live. But at least we can get rid of the artillery while making sure the Fungal Grabber is nearly dead. Nearly. Not close enough, though. This drops your bleed resist, right? Yep. Why am I not surprised by any of this? 
Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I have one more curio and then two battles. So for this, we're gonna need the key anyway. I can't take the portrait with me. What do I want to ditch? Holy water is... If the holy water could substitute for blood, that would be fantastic. Portrait will be taken over this one, and I need the keys. The jade is worth the 900 gold, but I'm afraid I'm going to get some jade, like, right now and completely regret my decision. Do we regret it? A fortune waiting to be spent. You know what? The deeds are better than 900 gold. So ultimately, everything would have been changed over. I would love to take some more portraits. Wait, I'll take more portraits, because I'm not going to need a key. Excellent. And then... Not going to need a key, he says. It's trapped, he says. So we're going to have two more room battles. That's fine. We should be good through both of them. I'm actually doing this so I can try to get just a bit more of the Hang ever on, so lovely brain. Brain, it's okay. The lack of one is not to be ashamed. What was I trying to say before I devolved into unintelligible nonsense? I'm trying to hope for another invitation. That's what I was looking for. Because another invitation would have probably been decent. Thank you for your nice healthy dodge, Barasa. Nice that we're all just a teeny bit faster than even you. And now we could just try to focus on beating you senseless. And then I can even try to stun you, because I know we're not going to kill you off. Alright, if he goes first, we'll just try to provide a heal. Surprised he didn't die from that, yet at the same time, not so much. Yeah. A momentary abatement. Wow. Okay, I guess we're just going to accept a kill anyway. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. We'll take these heals. Everyone's back in their original positions. You'll actually have your damage buff upon entering this fight, and we'll be the at max torchlight. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. We are the flame, and now there's going to be an absolute ton of rapid rushes. Green well, at least you're first in line. Good vision. The end approaches. They do not like Barasa. Okay, I'm not at all surprised he got rabies. Um... I would love to pull the weak one closer, but instead I'm just going to focus on doing a self-heal back to full, as if nothing happened. You know not what you've become, you've become a horrible monstrosity under that helmet, let's be honest here. Annihilated. I mean, I guess it's a kill. A kill is a kill. I guess. Wow, they are all really tempted to hit Barasa. That's at least one down. Diminished. I mean, if you give Harville rabies, I'm okay with this, actually. Decimated. Rabies is a fantastic disease to have. Nod, if you get rabies, I'm also okay with it. Uh, why aren't you guys getting rabies? Right now, I'm just now trying to fish for crits, because if I can fish for a few crits, I can get their stress to nothing. And basically send them out again immediately. Um, torches, what torches? Momentum. Treasure. Push on to the task's end. All treasure. Let's get out of this place. Driving out corruption is an endless battle, but one that must be fought. I couldn't have butchered my speech any more than I tried, but I am thankful that we've moderately succeeded. And we didn't even have to spend any of the blood. We're probably going to have to spend it on the way back. And now there's probably going to be problems because we just don't have enough of a blood income to sustain these people. All right, so who's going to become problematic? 
Nod, welcome to the rank of champions, but that needs to be dealt with. Off guard. That needs to be dealt with as well. Early risers, okay. Red plague, that we can clear. So at least there's a point to sending you to disease treatment. Let each help the other, and in so doing, help themselves. Putting Ego aside does not come easily to such seasoned survivors, but the new recruits are palpably grateful for the assistance. Urges for the curse for now, urges for the curse for now. Good. Which means... Who here awaits the brigand 16-pounder for the matchstick? Jesus. That's really good. On a trophy? <laughs> oh, that actually would be worthwhile. However, that's not what we're here for. The level restriction has been removed, and we're merely a veteran quest now. Perhaps the Baron needs to learn that our forces are much more experienced than any of his mere partygoers could be manage. It's not a good word for it, but it's something I can deal with. But anyway, until then, hope you've all enjoyed watching. This has been Rainboy20 with Let's Play The Darkest Dungeon, and I'm signing off. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, or subscribe. It helps out a great deal. And I hope to see you all next time. Until then, farewell, and beware the